You may be familiar with a timeout in a game of football, but are you familiar with an idle session timeout? If not, you've come to the right place. An idle session timeout will log a user out automatically after a determined set of time. This can be used for security reasons. Luckily, we have the option to shorten or lengthen those settings. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll show you how to configure the idle session timeout settings on a CBS 250 or 350 series switch through the CLI next. To start things off, let's jump into the CLI of our device. To get into the CLI, we need to have PuTTY installed on our computer. Let's quickly go over the PuTTY settings. For our serial line, we have COM3, and this is where our USB Serial 2 cables are plugged into our computer. Up next, we can see that our speed is at 115,200. If it was left at the default level of 9,600, we would not be able to load our switch. We can click Open to continue. We're going to start by configuring the HTTP timeout. This can either be HTTP or HTTPS. We'll enter in the command config t or config terminal to get into privileged executive mode. After that, we'll enter in IP HTTP timeout dash policy. We can then enter in the number of seconds we want to expire before it times out. This can range from zero all the way up to 86,400 seconds. For this example, we'll enter in five seconds. We know, we know, this is a very short period of time. But let's make sure this works and head over to the web UI and see if we get logged out after five seconds. Let's enter in the username and password and log into our switch. Now, if we don't move our mouse for at least five seconds, we should get kicked out. And there you have it, we were kicked out. Don't take it personally. Let's go back to our CLI and chat about a few more things. So far, We've gone over the HTTP and HTTPS from the web UI. We can also do a similar timeout setting for the console, telnet, or SSH. All we have to do is type in line, followed by either console, telnet, or SSH. For this example, we'll enter in console. We can press enter, and this will allow us to type out our timeout in minutes as opposed to seconds. We'll type in exec-timeout1 for a one-minute timeout. All we need to do now is press Enter, and we're done. If we go back to the general mode and type in show IP HTTP, this will show our timeout of five seconds. This is an easy way to check the session timeout. Again, if we type in show line console, this will show our interactive timeout of one minute. And that's all we need to know. Those are the steps for configuring the idle session timeout settings. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.